Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we changed some light bulbs and killed some crocodile monster things that kicked our ass. Yeah. Oh, good! Well, I can go exchange that right away. Fuck it. I don't have enough U material. Okay. All right then. Damn it. This button layout's a little confusing. I mean, menu uh, options menu brings up the map. Triangle brings up the menu. Not how I would have that said, but you know, whatever. Over here. Oh, Klaus! Let's kick some ass! Okay, actually, I'm teaching them how to fight. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully you won't make me go through the whole spiel again. Oh my god. Yes, we're ready. Oh, I have to fight them. Because your brute strength. That's an interesting stance Gaius holds with his spear. Let me be clear, that's not the incorrect stance, but that's an interesting stance. I like to put that much detail to give him the proper stance. Yes. Oh, I don't get to actually fight them. I would have enjoyed a fight. Don't! Whoa, what the hell is that? A, a doll? A silver doll? Milliam. Honestly, are you incapable of sitting quietly for just five minutes? She's 13! No, no she is not. I'm fighting Klaus, a rapier, actually no, that's a saber, or is that a, yeah, a rapier is meant for thrusting, that has an edge on it, that's a saber.
Do I actually get to fight him instead of just text? Okay. You're not going to be much of a healer. You sit, these both have S breaks. Okay, I got a coin here somewhere. Here's what I'm going to do. Never mind. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got a quarter here. Heads, I will choose Uses. Tails, I will choose Gaius. Okay, I won't use that quarter because I don't know where it went. Heads, Uses, it is. Oh, I'm glad that was empty. Cord got wrapped around the drink cup. Tumbler cup. I come and take it, tumbler cup from Yukon Outfitter. Now it's a gift. Begin. This is an actual fight. Show me what you can do. Right. Let's do this! Leave it to me! I'll okay. handle this. Let's get some setup. Flames, gamble on my blade! Jeez, did that even scratch him? Still knows a few tricks. Jesus. Here we go. He's quick. Here I go. There. My turn. Why am I not forming combat links? Of course. My turn. <laughs> well, you just down for the count. Here we go. <laughs> My turn. Master Fencer. My turn. Yes, sir. No. Laura should give the killing blow. Arcus, activate! Yes! Thanks! Yeah! <laughs> 
just as I hoped. Yeah, Never mind, he was vested. Ah, uh, some people got levels. That's good. And I got my... I did it! I'm awesome! Septimum's going back up. So that's good. It took four people to best the old coot. Yeah. That power he has, the Super Saiyan power, he doesn't want to lose control. That's over. Quillen. Laura's S craft, Radiant Dance, has strengthened to become Radiant Waltz. Okay. I'm gonna have to show that. back. Today was so much fun! Oh, hey, welcome back. Ah, uh, seems my timing could hardly have been better. Huh? <gasps> I take it this is her father. Father? Yep. The Radiant Blade Master himself. When did you get back? The Vice Count. When only Klaus came to greet us, I assumed I wouldn't be seeing you while I was in the Graham. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to take some time away from my engagements to see you and your class. And while I was in town, I also had some business to attend to with the guild, which is what brings me here. It does my heart good to see you again, Laura. It seems you've grown since I last saw you. F father please don't treat me like a child. No matter how old you are, he, you're always going to be his little girl. But it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. So that's the Radiant Blade Master. Laura's dad seems so cool. <laughs> this sounds embarrassed. She sounds embarrassed. But I've rarely seen her so happy. Ah, these must be your friends. Right. These are my classmates from Class 7, and my partners in this field study. Victor S. Arcid. Then let me welcome you to Legram. I'm Viscount Arcid, the ruling lord. Say it. My daughter has told me all about you in her letters. So it's a pleasure to finally be able to put faces to the names.
interesting tattoo on Gaius's arm. Whatever has to do with his tribalistic culture. Or if he just liked the design. I know that my family has been causing you a lot of trouble. Useless. Is he? <laughs> oh, that. Just some disagreements. You probably know it all too well. Conflicts over taxes among the nobility are sure as the rising sun. That's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you for your kind words. Come now. Tell me of your day. I hear you fought Klaus this afternoon and emerged victorious at that, just barely. We did, though I did feel he was holding back against us. Nonsense, my lady. You and your classmates fought with baldness of young lions. I look forward to seeing you soar to even greater heights. Marvelous. I did have my hopes that you might choose to attend the girls' school in the capital, but you seem to have made some excellent friends at Thor's, so perhaps this is how things are meant to be. I feel the same. Laura. Hmm? Green, what is it? I'm curious. I can sense fear in your swordsmanship. A certain hesitation. What? The Sword Hermit, Yun Café. In addition to being your master and the founder of the Eight Leaves School, he's also a personal friend of mine. In fact, I've requested a duel with him numerous times. I see. If you'll forgive me for asking, who was the victor? The victor is yet to be decided. Pitting your respective philosophies against one another is an engaging experience. We always lose track of time. I can hardly imagine what a duel like that would be like. <laughs> but imagine getting back to what I was saying. The Eight Leaves School draws its influence from its elements of... Oh my god. The Eight Leaves One Blade School draws its influence from elements of several Eastern schools of swordsmanship. Yeah, I was mentioning something about that. Fighting with a Tachi or a Katana or even a Wakayashi is not about strength, but speed and precision. The Stao's philosophy has such depth, it's not too it's not difficult to see why one who matters is it known as a divine blade? But there's something about you, Rain. Something that terrifies you so much that its mere shadow pins you in place. He's almost certainly referring to. I've occasionally gotten that impression myself. So this is the burden Rain carries. Emma knows something. Indeed. It seems like whatever happened in the old schoolhouse last month had something to do with it, but you have me at a loss. I never would have imagined you'd be able to tell so much about me so easily. But thanks to that, I've made up my mind. My lord, I ask you as a Radiant Blade Master, would you grant me the honor of a duel? Green's fighting style has nothing to do with strength. It has to do with speed and precision. A katana is not a weapon of brute strength. 
It is a weapon of skill. It's not a claymore. It is not a great sword. He doesn't stand a chance. Usis holds a similar fighting style that of court fencing. It's not about strength, but speed and precision. Receiving instruction from him would be one thing, but to duel a master like Viscount Arsade. Looks like the odds aren't in his favor then. Reen, please reconsider. You too, Father. Stop this nonsense. Please, Laura, stay out of this. This is something he needs to do. This duel is between Reen and myself. Stand aside. Oof. <sighs> Are you certain this is what you want? I am. It's an honor to have the opportunity to test my mettle against the renowned Radiant Blade Master. Thank you for accepting. I admire your spirit. Now, show me what a Swordsman of the Eight Leaves is capable of. Jesus Christ, he's what gonna the? use a... He's gonna use a claymore with one hand? Whoa! Amazing! That's a fencing stance! That's a claymore, man! He can wield such a massive blade so deftly with just one hand? That is a freaking claymore you're holding with one hand. <sighs> Unbelievable! That's Galan Charles, a great sword that's been passed down in the Arsade family for generations. It was once wielded by the ancestor of our house, the second in command of the Eisenritter. I can sense incredible power within him. He may be even stronger than my master, which means that against him... Reen Schwarzer of the Eight Leaves One Blade School, beginner rank. I stand ready. Victor S. Arsade, master and successor of the Arsade School. Ready. Begin! This now, is a full blown Show me fight. what you're capable of! Here we go! You're gonna have to be better than that. There! This is gonna be a forced loss battle. Not yet. Flames, gavel on my blade! I didn't even scratch him. Yeah, this is a force loss. I'm sorry, everyone. Green wanted to test himself. Out! This is why I tried to stop them. I could barely even see what happened. It's not like Green is weak. It's more that his opponent's strength is so far beyond his. What are you doing? This duel is not yet over. To your feet, at once! Father? <sighs> Stop holding back! I know you're capable of more than this. But if you're still too afraid to assert your true strength, then I have no choice but to force your hand. Now, show me! <sighs> Green needs this. Quick. Disappeared? No. Too slow. Damn. He's showing his true power. He has to control it. Uh, wow! This is. It, is this what Reen is afraid of? <sighs> Excellent. This is as it must be. This is the power that slumbers deep within you. As long as you continue to cower in the face of it, you'll remain forever at a standstill. I want to see your true potential. No more holding back. Now. Is this the physical damage? Now. Hold on. Gale. Now. 
Stand a chance. Reen, Reen. Wow, that duel was crazy. Yeah, though it all makes sense now. Why Reen asked the Viscount for a duel in the first place? You fool. Are you shouldering such a burden alone all this time? Are you all right, Reen? Father, there was no need to go that far. Oh, but there was. I'm fine. He held back. I admit defeat. I'm honored to have seen the Radiant Blade Master's signature technique. <laughs> I think you're finally starting to understand. What we call power is simply a measure of one's raw strength. It's more than that. Without knowing how to properly apply it, it has no real meaning. However, when you deny the power you already possess, you're only shortchanging yourself. You're right. I feel like I finally get what my master was trying to teach me about the laws of nature. But... I'm afraid understanding that is only going to make me even more uncertain. Reen. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, dust yourself off, and step forward. Grapple with that fear each day if that's what it takes. Uncertainty weighs on the hearts of all people. Far preferable to standing still. seems to have cleared. So, that's the Saint's castle. You can't come out right now. Someone might notice you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. The Selene? Radiant Blade Master may be scarily perceptive, but I doubt he'll notice my little moonlit stroll. Honestly, What is with this well, cat? What do you think? I'm not sure how much we can count on the boy. It seems he's finally found what he needs to move past what's been holding him back. But I'm still not certain he's going to make it in time. Oh, that's not for us to decide. Our role is to watch over and guide him, nothing more. Who are you? I don't want you to do anything like that ever again. Fine, fine. Setting that aside for now. I'm sure you've already sensed it, but there's definitely something inside that castle. That place is out of our jurisdiction, but I have a bad feeling about this one. Me too. I know that I know she can use magic, but who are you, Emma? I suppose all we can do is point Laura toward it and hope she notices too. Keep up the good work! This shit's getting real!
Whoa. Good point, you sis. I'm wondering that myself. He's with his sister when it first surfaced. That's something, some beast like insect. There's something, some beast like insect instinct sleeping inside me. I completely lose control of myself. It just swallows me up, transforms me somehow. I've known about it ever since I was a kid, and all my life, I lived in fear of it, of that other self. Wish it was that simple. Years ago, I first asked my master to teach me the way of the sword in order to suppress that power. I thought if I could master the art of fighting, I could master my fear and quell those instincts. But that did nothing to solve the underlying problem, and eventually, I ended up having my training discontinued. That's pretty pathetic, huh? Thank you, phone. Ring. But you said that yesterday's duel helped you realize something. Right. I can deny it up and down. But doing that doesn't change the fact that it's there somewhere. And unless I can accept it, I won't be able to reconcile with myself, with the past, or really think about my future. I mean, that sounds so simple saying it now, but it's this long for me to realize it. Oh, I see. Trouble seems to seek you out, doesn't it? So you intended to accept your lot and move forward even though the way is way of, is anything but certain. That's rather inspiring. I hope you'll tell Group B about what you shared with us. I think they'd really be glad to hear it from you. I think I will. I feel like everyone's been worried about what happened at the old schoolhouse last month. We stop with the dialogue now. I have big news. He seriously dueled the Radiant Blade Master. Well, it was kind. He was kind enough to give me a chance to test my skill against him. The gap between him and me is so wide that calling it a duel is being generous. Don't sell yourself short. It takes some real guts to even think about trying to duel the Viscount. I know you've battled Sarah, and her strength is pretty intense. But he's on a whole different level. I can see you didn't achieve beginner rank in the eight schools, one blade school for nothing. You're surprisingly well informed. That's a bracer for you. Interesting. Another monster on the highway, and an offering departed. Okay, I'll be doing that next time. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I wrap up all the busy work and move on to the next set of tasks. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.